The FBI is offering a $25,000 reward for information that leads to Danny Leggett, who was born in the Midwest but was living in New Jersey. He was 37 when the man was stabbed on East 10th Street in 1987. If he's alive, Leggett is 73 years old. Very intelligent guy. He ended up getting a PhD in education. But the FBI says Danny Leggett's drug problem led him to East 10th Street on May 7, 1987, where he was going to sell his watch to a man in a wheelchair, Kasun Adams. A friend, Helen Torres, brought Leggett to the location. Things went bad when Adams did not have enough money for the watch. And he took out a knife and stabbed Mr. Adams repeatedly, causing his demise. And Ms. Torres was cut on her throat. The murder happened during the crack cocaine epidemic in New York City when police were overwhelmed by drug related homicides. This has reached epidemic proportions. Leggett had drug problems dating back to his late teens when he was arrested in Des Moines, Iowa. After the murder, police believe Leggett fled to Georgia initially. In the last year, Detective Raymond McCann re interviewed an old friend of Danny Leggett's. That witness told us that at some point in around the 1992, he bought a gentleman's passport for $500. The fake passport was bought on the Lower East Side. And we believe that passport was used for Danny to leave the country. And Southeast Asia and specifically the Philippines was mentioned by two different witnesses. The FBI says Danny Leggett was also familiar with the Red Lake region of Canada. He would go with his family. They would go on typical guys trips, they would go fishing, there was cabins there. The Violent Crimes Task Force has now created an age enhancement picture of what Danny Leggett might look like at the age of 73. I think he is doing a good job on making sure that he's not found, you know, if, if he's still alive. If he's dead, then um, that's not like the outcome we would like, but for us, that's a chance for us to close the case. The FBI told us it's dealing with authorities in the Philippines to check on possible sightings of Danny Leggett. Right now, his whereabouts are a mystery, but the FBI and NYPD hope social media will help spread the word about this cold case.